Good morning all, it's Tuesday, um, the day after Monday, um, an awful lot has happened since we, uh, since we last did, the, did this roundup uh, yesterday morning. Um, so without further ado, here is the news. Uh, Phil Harrison, uh, Sony's former head of Worldwide Studios, has predicted the death of physical media and that Apple will be the games industry within 10 years if it keeps on doing what it's doing. Um, both of those things may well be correct. Certainly, uh, we, we believe that physical media is going to die. Um, whether or not Apple will actually become the games industry is, is, uh, is something else. Um, but, but props to you, Phil. Uh, we love you and all that. Um, Avalanche, looking forward, uh, has said that um, it believes that at least one proper next-gen format will be out by 2014. And that's probably a fair assessment. Um, it's got a game coming out for that phantom platform. Um, and yeah, I'm not, I'm not going to argue with that. Um, LA Noir staffers are blowing the whistle on a crunch period that sounds like it extended well beyond a year uh, before the game came out. Uh, one has told the Sydney Morning Herald overnight that um, he left before the game shipped um, because his sanity depended on it. Yes, you, you do need to suffer for your art, apparently. Um, there were some pretty pretty uh, strong rumours going around um, about L.A. Noir um, last year before it came out. Um, it sounded like a lot of work needed doing in the, la in the last part of it to get it, get it ready to go, um, but it, it seems to, seem to all be uh, turned around at the expense of, of the sanity of its team. Um, so yeah, read about more about that on the site now. Uh, Ubisoft said overnight that the uh, open beta for Ghost Recon Future Soldier is going to be happening in January. Uh, it's great news. Uh, look good at E3. We uh, we always always like shooting terrorists in the face. So um, so that that can never ever ever be a bad thing. Um, Thomas Gopp, who uh, was the senior producer on The Witcher 2, has left Senior Project Red apparently, and um, there's no word on what he's going to be doing next. Uh, so best of luck, Thomas. Absolute star of a man. Um, great video game and all that. So um, so good luck. <coughs> Um, GameSpot's running a story quoting sources as saying it's pretty likely GTA 5 will be out next year. We'd say that's probably right, um, but and we also said it was going to be shown at E3 and we were wrong about that, but uh, I, I think it's fair to assume that, that that game will be out at some point next year. Um, in further Take 2 news, um, President Strauss Zelnick has said in a Forbes interview that more Duke Nukem will be on the way. Um, not, not too surprising. That um, and also Jim Redner and the PR chap that 2K fired for uh, saying in public that he was going to restrict uh, review copies uh, of the game based on um, some of the sorry future review copies of his products based on uh, the venom he saw in DNF verdicts um, has explained his side of the story to Wired. Um, I, I had a brief skim over that this morning. That's really worth a read. Um, uh, it gives a, a bit of a it's a very sort of honest look at, at what can happen um, in these situations, and uh, yeah, you, you do well to read that, I think. Um, Edar said yesterday that Mass Effect 2 was the most promising retail game of E3. <clears throat> that sounds pretty weird, because uh, there were things there like Modern Warfare, and, uh, and Battlefield, and, um, and Skyrim, and I don't know. Maybe... Well, the, the, its decision was based on consumer interest, but like, will Mass Effect 3 sell more than Modern Warfare 3? I think that's fairly unlikely, but, but what, what the hey? Um, buy you some EA shares anyway. Uh, right, FX Cliff, oh, Cliff Blazinski has um, called hacking a major problem for games developers. Um, yeah, that's, uh, that's probably a fair assessment. Um, Star Fox 64 3D is out on September the 9th. So if you didn't play Star Fox 20 years ago, buy a 3DS. Um, <clears throat> Microsoft has said that the Kinect support for um, Halo Combat Evolved Anniversary is only additive. Um, and it won't affect the core gameplay experience. Now, we said yesterday um, that you better get used to this and you really better have. Microsoft has been telling everyone and, uh, and has been telling everyone for some time that like all like 360 products need to have some kind of Kinect component. Um, Kinect is, is part of 360 now and uh, you really should get used to seeing that little logo on the box as we said yesterday because it's going to be there forever. Um, Valve's about to release an Uber update for Team Fortress 2. 
Um, Rock, Paper, Shotgun's been speculating that the Chiefs is about to go free to play. Um, well, there you go. Free. Free Team Fortress 2. What's better than Team Fortress 2? Free Team Fortress 2. Apparently the first part of this promotion is a free weekend, which starts today, and um, an initial Mafia-themed update, complete with a new payload map, according to RPS. Um, I, have, I cannot argue with that because I know no difference. Um, Al Gore spoke at a uh, New York conference yesterday. Al Gore used to be the um, deputy president of America or something. Right? And um, yeah, he said that games are now a mass market medium. Well, well done, Al. Um, Shigeru Miyamoto said that Wii U won't dramatically outperform current consoles. That's a, that's a surprise, um, because the company is struggling to keep the hardware's price down despite the reckless new controller. So, it's got a reckless controller, and it's not very powerful in comparison to PS3 and 360. It's going to be amazing. Um, the Shadows of the Damn launch trailer is out. That's looking pretty hot, and uh, that's actually out this week, so you should do, do well to look at that. And um, we asked everyone yesterday whether or not you're going to be buying Battlefield 3 or Modern Warfare 3. We're still collecting um, collecting data on that. Um, if you haven't told us, please do. Um, you can go on the site now and uh, then go from our site to Facebook and click on a button and make us valuable to, uh, to, to people that sell video games, which is probably a good thing for all of us. Right, that's it. Have an amazing day. Again, like I, I, I have no reason to wish you a bad day at at all, have an absolutely phenomenal day. Go and get drunk at lunchtime. Everyone loves doing that. Um, and we'll see you tomorrow. <laughs>